Salutations, everyone. Welcome back to Baldur's Gate 3. I'm Lord Foreman. Careful, Zach, who is yeah, also I'm here. Just going right here. So we are still hunting for Zevlor and Mole. And there is a huge battle coming up here we've got to be careful about. I'm going to shoot the brazier. I don't know if it lights it. It doesn't. There are enemies here. Just out of view. If I go okay. into stealth mode, we can see them. There's one big guy up there. There's plenty more. I'm going to say we send you in first. Oh, that is a big guy. I'm going to say we send you in first. Because if anyone's going to die, you're the least likely to die. And if you die, Shadowheart can revive you. I'm, ready. I'm going to give you armor. Okay. okay, we've detected the beginning of the ambush. So if I shoot from here... This guy has 56 hit points. That should start the fight. Oh, it didn't. It has. Well, we're in turn based. If everyone else minds their business. Oh. Big turn based. Uh oh. I My didn't, hiding is successful. It didn't start it, but I just got another shot off that did. Okay, so we gotta be careful of all the exploding night ones. Did I get that? I got it. And it does hurt their own guys, which is lovely. Um, so there's two more exploding guys to the left, at least. Uh, fireball, maybe? Right in the middle of it all? Blow them all up? I don't know. Yeah, fireball sounds good. There's also two up there, which we can't get to yet. Whatever works. Blast away. We just don't want the cursed needle blights walking up to us. Well, that was effective. Out of sight, out of mind. Good job, Gale. Good job, Gale. You might say it was super effective. <laughs> I don't know if it's really smart to just run up there. Uh, it's smarter for you than us. I suppose I can tank damage for us. Yeah, that's why I gave you the Shield of Faith. The odds of you getting hit in melee are pretty low. And even if you get blown up, the worst that happens is you go down and I revive you. So, Or you die and I revive you. So, Either way, you're you're more expendable than Shadowheart is, who'd be the only other one we'd want to send in. And they're just going to ignore you and... Oh, pull Gale into the mess. And those corpses are not so dead, after all. Ooh. Poor Gale. Ouch, Gale. Ouch, ouch, ouch. Gale can teleport away, though. That he can. That he can. If he survives to his turn, that is. Uh, I believe he is prone, which doesn't help. And he's entangled. Let's see what these things I... do. Are they just going to blow up? Teleport. No, they're going to needle you. Honestly, though, when Gale's up, we might want him to just fireball all those guys up there. Yeah. I think they're all going for you. Yeah, that, that's like the per perfect setup for a fireball. It is. You may die to thorns, but um, outside the of that... Sacrifice I'm willing to make. I got rid of the butt main guy, so that's much safer. Shadowheart will help Gale up. Oh, I can help Gale up. There we go. Now you're no longer entangled. And I will heal you a bit in hope of your survival. Gale, fireball oh, galore. Juicy fireball. Make sure you get all six, including and then include Scatter. <laughs> Honestly, I'm gonna do a level four one. Uh-oh. Put on all the big guns. Boom! No, Gale! <laughs> Why would you run up there, Gale? This is a moron. And we know this. Gale! Cast fireball! Uh -oh. He can't cast it. Immobile Shadow Cursed Veins. Vines, yeah. Uh, maybe Vines. Scathor can help him? Because he's entangled uh, right now. So swap to Scathor and see if Scathor can untangle him. Because he's right next to it. That's what I was able to do with uh, uh, Shadowheart. Just don't allow Gale to move. Just fire uh, from where you are. Okay, uh, Gale. Fourth level. And... 
Gale, move. What, Gale? Gale used fireball. It was super effective, and no one died except for the bad guys. Awesome. Good it, job, Gale. It was What's super effective, here? though. An ironwood club. Eh, not useless. Very well. See why this area is locked? Even though we're high level, this area is no joke. No, it's not a joke. Get out of there. I'm gonna climb up to what's up top. Yeah, you do that. Oh, and apparently... No, I don't do that. I come down the ladder immediately. <laughs> apparently, if you click down the ladder while you're clicking up the ladder, it teleports you to the top and then takes you down. There's a diary. And there's a chest. Guess what? It's locked, as usual. Well, Mrs. Rogue. The lock picking queen. It is a ring of self-immolation. <laughs> Set yourself on fire to gain heat. Take 1d4 damage, but you get heat. And if you get heat high enough, you can use heat convergence, and heat convergence is next time you deal fire damage, you deal an additional one fire damage for every turn of heat remaining. I guess it's for Karlark? Or if you wanted to go with the items that, like the, the we have the ice one, but if you use the fire one. Maybe, uh. Okay. Who knows? Oh, there's a key up here that we apparently missed. Not sure what the key is to. Maybe it's to the chest. I should read that diary, actually. Diary. I found a key up here, but unless I lost a chest of water and sunlight, no use for it. Blah, blah, blah. Oh, you guys are getting hit by shadow cursed vines. Okay. okay. Where to now? Uh, Well, we've cleared all this area, so let's... Teleport to the shadow battle. Oh, well, let's just walk. It's easier, isn't it? Um, let's walk this way. Walk this way, everyone. Walk this way. And then we want to go all the way down to where you got into the mischief with a hyena. So, all the way over to here. Follow me. If you wish to survive probably. and find random people. Of course, it's entirely possible the people we're looking for are in areas we have already explored, which kind of puts it at a major disadvantage. Nope, this isn't the right way. Okay, uh, we want to go this way. We just got to run everywhere, basically. Yeah, basically we got to double check everywhere. Considering how far Roland got when we weren't looking. I don't yeah. think it's very far. Well, he was doomed. He was dying in two shadows. Yeah, there's a chest in here. Where are you? No. Is it locked? Yearning for the moon. No, it wasn't. No. For once. That's he's... fine. So when the people put it out in the open, which is clearly a cultural phenomena here, right? They clearly yes. it's a deep held cultural belief to randomly throw locked chests around everywhere. When they leave it in their home, they don't lock it. So I have a question for you. There's a Do you ever just head. leave chests unlocked? Uh, yes. There is a chest in my house unlocked. There's also a random severed head here. Ah, oh, that's fun. It's like in a nest. Yeah, and there's also a locked trunk. This is a trunk, trunk though, not a chest. Clearly I they're... wonder if the cultural phenomena around trunks are different than chests. Well, this one's in something of a tower. Okay, so you see the gilded chest down there. Uh... Do you think you can safely walk over and pick it up? No, but I'll do it anyway. No! We are going to shoot the enemy from up here. Make this fight a lot easier. It's the same fight that we just did, basically, but just as annoying. So, Wait, so what are you doing? I'm shooting. Oh. They apparently are unable to react. Because they're ignoring me, just, you know, blasting them. Now they're not ignoring me. So, let's do something I've never done. Let's use an actual arrow. Ready? Huh. Wow, all those rolls. 
That's all it did. Everyone else did a saving throw on it. Disgusting. I don't think I've used the short, bore, short bow of Shadowheart in ages, but I'm going to shoot anyway. Oh, her poison damage occurs on her range attacks as well. Isn't that awesome? Oh, nice. There's still quite a few enemies down there. We just can't see them. There they are. Uh-oh, Gale. It's looking a little worrisome. That might be another fireball, I'd say. Potentially. Oh, Scather's almost tied up. Do you want to take it? Yeah, let, let you fireball the... Why don't you fireball those Needle Curse Blights? Otherwise, I gotta shoot them to help you, so... I'll fireball them. Okay, I will shoot this guy if I can. I did, okay. Two and then twenty-four. Yeah. The life of a rogue, right? One yeah, attack but does twenty-seven damage. You do two attacks and you get to twenty something damage. Hey, at least you're good on saving throws against Constrict. The helmet I got is very good at that. Really? It, uh, it gives me plus two on saving throws. Oh, well, that's quite useful. Yeah, that guy is down. Oh, there we go. Mission accomplished. And now I'll go open the chest. Anything good? The Frost Prince. Okay, all you can have that amulet. Oh, when you do frost damage, do more frost damage? No, it just gives him ice knife. Oh. Yeah. I don't even know if I'll use it in Gale, but he has it as an option. I think there's a... Okay, I'm out of that area. For separate... Gale wrote a critical fail. Gale! Why stop you? Ro Why are you rolling critical fails all the time? Where is he going? Oh, he's joining you. You're on a quest. He's gonna get stuck, you know, walking back, pretty much. He made it. First time for everything. Okay, well that area is cleared. Not really sure getting that one item was worth it, but we filled out that corner of the map. So now we gotta head across this bridge and then south towards the Moonrise again, where we found um, uh, Roland. Hello, kitty. I really feel like Zevlar and Mole are like right next to the inn or whatever. Well, we kind of looked everywhere there and we didn't see them, so. Uh, hold on, excuse me. Uh, oh, I gotta do my break. business over here. Bathroom break. Oh, hold on. M move door. Oh, I found a lot of chest, go. though. So, hold on. Let's see, as Gale. Turn should do it. I, I want to set this up for a funny picture. There we go. I closed myself in the bathroom. Uh, the door is still open on my end. Oh, Gale closed it. That's, oh well. Right, that's that up fun. There. Okay, I'm going a little bit off the beaten path here. I have to, you have to jump up here. Pickets, ballistas, uh. siege engines. A little old fashioned too. Okay. hundred years? More? There's a heavy chest. I'm just curious as if I open the chest, are all these skeletons going to revive? No, but I got two arrows of lightning. Now I have to remember to use the arrows. Hey, it was my first arrow and it proved to be relatively not so useful. So, three golden random skeleton, though. Uh, I think this is a dead end, but I just wanted to check yeah. anyway. One day we'll find Mole and Zevlar. So all that was, was a history check. 
That whole area was designed for a single history chat that gave me no XP. Seriously? Yeah, that's game? how it works. That feels a little stupid. Um, let's see, where are we looking down here? So, basically, we want to just keep going south to where, where we found Roland. Was there an area past Roland that we didn't look at yet? Uh, there's a bridge that leads back to the town area where we've been before. Um, and I'm just wondering if there might be something we missed or changed now that Roland's gone. I mean, to be fair, Roland did take out like five guys, didn't he? Ah, there was a hidden wooden chest here, though. Hidden wooden chest. 69 golds. It Travel wasn't locked. It wasn't locked, but there's two locked tra traveler's chests here I can unlock. With my almost inability to fail. Do you know if I was a halfling, I literally could not fail on these rolls. What if you got a nat one? Halflings reverse that into a 20. That's oh, the halfling's wow. power, I believe. I got a gloom strand shield plus one stealth. No useless for me. Yeah, so this is back into the town area, but we haven't fully explored all of this. And maybe something's different here now. Uh, I doubt things are different, but we haven't gone south. Oh, yes, we have. We've been down here before, but let's go down here anyway. This is where I saw the people escape across. They jumped across the, uh, the gap right. there and then ran away. But there is a chest and a skeleton with a Sharon Psalm on it and a Serpent's Fang Toxin. What's the Sharon? Ah. Basically a drinking poison chant. Um. Ugh. Let's see, where are we on the map? I think we want to head to end the episode, actually. We will be at the next area at the beginning of the next one, then, everyone. See you guys then. Bye for now.